Hi everyone! <clears throat> I can't believe I'm about to say this. If anyone has a pit fetish, now's the time to tune in. But sometimes there is a hum off me. Okay, I really don't want to do this. Oh, dirt on my pit. Lovely. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Y'all know I'd be loving these like weird reviews. Well, today I'm bringing one to you. So if you follow my socials, segue, follow my socials, you'll know I've been on the hunt for the ultimate natural deodorant. I feel like a lot of people are moving away from conventional deodorants just because we're reading a lot of reports recently about the toxins that are in them being so close to our breasts and our lymph nodes and our armpits. We're becoming a little bit more aware, I feel like, of what we're putting onto our body and what's being absorbed into our body. So I feel like I'm not the only one who's looking for the ultimate natural deodorant that actually will work. So I was posting on my Instagram stories the other day when I was down in Cork, there happened to be a Mugu and Dusty Girls makeup event in the hotel right beside where I was staying. So I sort of gay crashed <laughs> this event. Basically, they were showcasing all the products. Now, I used one product from Mugu about two or three years ago and I had a bad experience with it, so I never really gave her the time of day since. But looking at the product range, I was literally like, I'm adding that to my list, I'm adding that to my list, I'm adding that to my list. I, there's so much stuff there that I wanted. Side note, the lipstick I'm wearing right now, which as you can tell is a beautiful nude. This is by Dusty Girls Makeup, which is like a sister brand to Mugu. It's called Dusty Girls Farms by Mugu. And when I swatched this lipstick, I was like, I have to have it. It's the natural vegan lipstick. It comes in really like cardboardy packaging. And it's in the shade Mac and Nude. And I mean, I love it. Would you know that was like totally natural? No, you wouldn't. It looks, it could be Charlotte Tilbury. You wouldn't know. Anyway, anyway. I got sidetracked there. So the product I'm going to be reviewing today is the Fresh Cream Deodorant from Mugu. It comes in packaging like this. It's priced at 7 dollars which I feel is actually a pretty decent price. I know for some people they might think, well, I can pick up a Sure Deodorant for $1.50, but obviously, think about it. What's in the Sure Deodorant that they can make it so cheaply? And you may bet you are still making a hefty profit. So it is your very standard looking roll-on deodorant, which has been a while since I've used one. And if you're interested about the ingredients, you might be able to pause and have a go at them there. But it's all good stuff, basically. The instructions say to give the bottle a little shake and apply liberally to the underarm area allowed to dry before dressing, especially if you intend on wearing dark clothing. As with all natural products, patch test for allergies for use, which bold me, I'm not doing. So when I was thinking about reviewing this today, I, I came up with an idea last night. I'm actually going to use this on one of my armpits and not on the other. That's how dedicated I am to y'all. Today, the weather is set to B, 23 degrees at one stage. So it's gonna be quite warm. God love my work colleagues. Yeah, it smells fine. Just smells clean. Mugu is completely cruelty free and they actually really hammer this home on all their packaging. They literally have it written on everything. What does it say on this one? Mugu tests on ourselves, not animals. So let's see, I'm gonna use it on my right armpit and I'm gonna leave my left armpit naked. Quite wet. <laughs> Actually, I put on. <laughs> I put it halfway up my arm. Okay, but that's it'll be okay. It'll be grand. It smells fine. It's taking a while to dry. Maybe if I fan it a bit. This is what you call a content. Okay, it's definitely drying there now. And as I said, I'm leaving this one completely bare. Uh, I will report back to you at the end of the day. It's currently six sixteen a.m. Wish me luck. Hello. It's essentially 11 hours later, almost exactly. I have two confessions. First of all, I had a pretty lazy, chill day. I didn't break up a sweat. I wasn't out in the heat and I was in a pretty cool environment sitting down for most of the day. But we're gonna, we're gonna rectify that in a little while. Second of all, I'm not a really, really sweaty person. I could probably get away with showering morning and night and probably not wearing deodorant. I'm not a particularly sweaty person. However, if I do work up a sweat, i.e. I go to the gym or I go for a run or a walk, not that that happens all that often, but if I do, I do sweat, okay? So I'm not a profuse sweater, but sometimes there is a hum off me, okay? I'm gonna just show you the bra that I wore today. I changed back into my, like, pyjama top. I'm gonna show you the white stains. Um, honestly, not a huge amount. A little bit right there, you can see. And this is the side with the naked pit, so you can see there's none on that side. So white marks, minimal, very minimal. Texture, fine. And I did sniff about two hours in and 
my, I think they, they, there was no major difference, but obviously two hours after a shower, you're not gonna be that stinky. Mm -hmm. All right, straight up and honest, neither of them smell too bad. So what I'm gonna do for y'all, and I don't want to do this, is I'm gonna put on a pair of shorts and a sports bra and a t-shirt, and I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna work up a sweat to really put this stuff to the test, okay? I really don't want to do this. I'll be back to you, you know, in a while, with some. <sighs> nice, so you can see my head can get a little bit sweaty. My underarms are definitely clammy. They feel equally wet. Now that's kind of normal because this is a deodorant, it's not an antiperspirant, so it still allows you to sweat, which is a good thing because it's how your body gets rid of toxins. It just stops the sweat from smelling. So what I'm gonna do is, fresh sweat doesn't actually smell, so I'm gonna leave it maybe an hour or so. I might do some yoga, have some dinner, and I'll come back to you in a couple of hours and do the sniff test and see if there's a difference. I'm gonna go, I'll be back. It's a uh, quarter past six. Hey, so I'm back for my final pit check-in. It's quarter past. All of my times happen to be in the quarter past mark. So let's do the sums. It's been 15 hours since I put on the product. Let's do the test. Hmm. There's not a huge amount going on there. It does smell a little bit like something, something, but you really have to kind of get in there. Yeah, not bad. Mm. So neither of them are chronically awful, but the armpit without the Mugu deodorant is definitely worse. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, you wouldn't bury your nostril in that, but you could definitely bury your nostril in here. So the verdict thus far, neither armpit smells totally fresh and clean, but then again, it has been 15 hours. I have been sitting, living, and then I went out for a run and I did some yoga as well afterwards. So I have put it through the test. My verdict is this seems to work. I'm going to continue using it anyway. And I will post to my social media an update in a few weeks time. But first impressions, uh, really good, especially for the price, 7 95 Yeah, this is one to watch. I will pop in a quick disclaimer that I have been using natural deodorants now for like two plus years. When you switch from using a conventional deodorant to a natural deodorant, there is often what I call a teething period where you just kind of have to grin and bear it for a couple of weeks till your body adjusts. And once you break through that barrier, it's smooth sailing as long as you've got a good product that works for you. But yeah, um, first impressions of the Mugu one, really, really good. That is my video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'll pop my socials up here once again. Uh, if you want to follow me on there, feel free. I think I post some pretty good Instagram stories if I do say so myself. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoy and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.